My name is Ken Tan, and I'm a creative director. I think I discovered music from a very young age. I mean, my parents would uh, play the radio, and then you know, uh, growing up, we would just listen to like oldies. Uh, then came, of course, the MTV generation, and immediately you jump onto uh, the grunge bands like uh, Sonic Youth and uh, Pearl Jam and uh, Met uh, Metallica, yeah, Metallica and Nirvana, right? And as you can see, some things don't change. I'm still dressed like uh, grunge. So yeah, that's how I really got into uh, music. The music that I really like is drum and bass. I can remember working uh, at Modesto's as a part-time waiter when I was young. Uh, and there was a DJ at Modesto's, I can't remember his name, it was many years ago. But I remember he passed me one CD and it was uh, a drum and bass CD and he said like this is the new thing. So I brought it home, listened to it, didn't really know what it was. but. You know, that's the only one of the, the few done CDs that I had. I came from a, a grunge and indie background. And uh, I just kept listening to that one, going to school and all that, right? And suddenly, it just felt right. I guess back then, drum and bass is like all industrial. It was industrial and it was harder and it was more raw. And that really related to uh, the kind of music that I was already listening to, like Metallica and, and uh, the heavy metal and all that. So it was a, quite an easy transition, I would say. And because it is also dance music, electronic dance music, I could actually play it out. Yeah, and yeah, that's how I got into DJing with drum and bass. Single out is great because as graphic designers, uh, it's always the holy grail to be able to design for a single or an album cover. So single out really gives us that uh, platform to be able to express our favorite tracks into something uh, tangible. The track that I chose is uh, a classic uh, drum and bass uh, track called Your Sound Remix by J Magic. Um, the song had a positive impact uh, because of its energy. So uh, as mentioned, I used to listen to this song every day, like on repeat. And just because of that energy, it's a perk me up. You know, it, it really gives you that uh, boost to go and do something creative. The feeling of uh, drum and bass in uh, the 90s, I would say 90, 94, 94 to 97, is uh, one of pure rawness, raw energy and um, industrialism, I guess. So everything is very metallic, it's very uh, concrete, very cement, you know, you can, th these are the kind of things that you are, uh, you that will pop into your head when you're listening to the tracks. Uh, like uh, urban landscape, um, people who are not that rich, you know, they are just like kids having fun, the football hooligans, because drum and bass started in London in a bistro. So it was that kind of energy that I was into as well, that kind of movement. And when I thought of this piece, I just wanted to uh, pay tribute to that movement. Goldie started, Goldie Chemistry and Storm started uh, this label called Metal Hits and that's where the song is from. So of course, I would do something in metal. And that's when I decided to actually render the entire final in metal. Because the name also came from the fact that they used to cut their duck plates on metal. I'm a big believer of um, being able to um, get into something that you can afford. So I was working really hard back then as a freelance uh, uh, designer to be able to afford my first pair of uh, setup, like the Dex and uh, a mixer, right? Uh, I got it secondhand and to be able to afford like a few records as well. My belief is because you are using your own hard cash to buy this setup, right, through proper means, you would be more passionate, I guess. You'll be more, you don't want to waste your money, lah, basically. So, because I've already invested in that, I had to bl bloody learn.